Here. What's up, everybody? Hey, guys. Wow, we already got 50 people in here waiting. We're one minute early. How's everybody doing? Your camera looks blurry. You're, it is blurry. Get a That's fine. paper towel. That's good. Here. That's good. Got my fingerprints all over it. Okay, you're going to think it's messed up. That ain't any better. It's fine. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, my gosh. Let me get to my chat. Everybody's here. been uh, chatting away before we get on here, I see. Yeah. Hey, Annie Ann. Hey, Paula. Hey, Barb. Who else is in here? We got a Lots several. Awesome. Hey, Jeffrey. How's everybody doing? Is everybody prepared for the big turkey day tomorrow? We're not. Well, that's, that's kind of... <laughs> hey, Gwen, how's it going? Have, hey, you, Gwen. have you cooked any of your uh, hog meat yet? Hey, David. Hey, Wayne. I'm glad everybody could jump on here. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> I'm, I'm sure you guys uh, seen the title. There's Good Simple Living. Hey, hey. guys. Um, so I put the title like that because this year is the first year we're actually having Thanksgiving at our own house due to everything going on and uh, all the elderly people in our families. On both sides of our families, usually both sides of our families have huge Thanksgiving dinners with the whole family. But this year, you know, everybody's chose to kind of do their own thing. So we're going to have my parents over and we're going to have Rachel's brother yeah. And his wife over. And then a family friend. And that's that's, that's it. it. We're having so. a very small get together because like Kevin said, my grandpa's gonna be ninety six this year yeah. and he's not in very good health. Hey mom. Hey. So anyways, um, hence the title of this video or live stream. Um, we're cooking our first turkey. I think we've cooked the turkey before for something else, but I actually butchered a turkey a couple of days ago. And uh, that's something new. It's outside in the cooler still <clears throat> doing its thing. Hey, Nevada. And I still got to weigh it and figure out how long and all that. But we did get a ham for a backup just because we're not sure how it's going to turn out. But, and another turkey. Well, we got a butterball turkey too, but <laughs> that's just for backup. Kevin, he's scared to death about the turkey. Yeah. And, and I'm, on, I'm going to cook the one that we butchered here from our farm on the pellet grill. And then the butter ball will go in the oven. And the ham is going to go. The ham is going to go on the pellet smoker. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey, Anastasia. Hey, guys. Thank you all for joining us. We know everybody's probably busy uh, preparing last minute stuff. Yeah, we've been so busy this week with everything going on. And then we're doing Thanksgiving and this and that. So we just decided to get on here. I don't really have any videos ready to go, and I haven't had a lot of time to make anything. Um, got some projects coming up, as you guys have seen, with the sawmill. Uh, we got to get a few more pieces of lumber cut, and then we'll be able to hopefully start on the project in the barn, building that feed bunk. So I can't okay. wait to get that done. These goats are a pain when I try to feed them. That'll be interesting. Well, and it's always a nightmare to feed them. That's what, yeah, I talk about it. I think, I don't know if it's in my last video or in the one that's coming out. But they are bucket trained, which is really good. Yeah. Um, in case you ever have goats get out, that's kind of important. Right. Yeah, so. very important. <laughs> you don't want goats that won't come to a bucket because exactly. if they do get out or if a tree falls on your fence or anything, they're going to take off. And if you walk out there to the feed bucket, they're not going to come to you. So. Yeah, that's, that's <clears throat> important. So. so, so a lot of people saying, Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all you guys. Hey, Joy. Are you feeding the whole family? That's a lot of food. <laughs> we like leftovers. That's one of my favorite things about Thanksgiving. Um, the leftover turkey and the stuffing and the ham. That's like, that's what I look forward to. No, we're not feeding a whole lot of people. No. Kevin just bought a whole lot of meat. Well, <laughs> not I the... So the turkey we butchered, I don't know how big it is yet. It's not, it's not like your traditional uh butterball turkeys that you see people raise those people raise those they're just like the meat chickens they only get up to a certain size and then you know they can't even hardly walk the turkeys we have are the black spanish that are 
more of a, a heritage breed, ter breed turkey. They don't actually get super big. They don't no. get overweight. They actually can breed and reproduce where the most turkeys you buy in the stores, those are raised on farms that like chicken grow houses, turkey grow houses. They are bred to get big as possible in the short amount of time. They can't hardly reproduce and stuff like yeah. that. So it's a big difference. <clears throat> hey, Bigfoot Farmer. We've got Stony Creek in here too. Welcome hey, everybody. Hey Bill. Anastasia says fried turkey is the best. I had it when I lived in New Orleans. I've never tried to fry one. I have eaten it and it is awesome. Hey James. Good Simple Living says leftovers are the best part. I agree. I love it. Yes. We'll eat leftovers for a long time. Gwen, and Gwen says happy birthday, Rachel. Thank you. <laughs> Rachel says, do not bring up my birthday. I said, I can't help it if somebody else no, does. No, don't do it. In about five and a half hey, hours. Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Narrowway Farm. Big Hello. Foot, Bigfoot Farmer. What's going on, guys? Again, thank you guys for joining us. We appreciate it. We haven't went live. In... It's been almost three months. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? Yep. Two and a half months. I didn't two, realize it was that months. long. So, yeah. yeah. We just want to appreciate you know, tell you guys how much we appreciate all your support and you stopping in to say hi, especially on a holiday week. Yeah, so. we've been getting so many um, messages and stuff. It's hard to keep up with. And we've actually been getting some uh, cards in the mail. We got some happy Thanksgiving cards. I think we got a we Christmas got some card. Christmas cards. Yes. Yeah, so thank you guys so much. And we got some other goodie packages. Um, we messaged everyone yep. that sent those. So sure. thank you guys for we're, all your kindness. Bigfoot farmer, we're going to cook one in the pellet smoker, and then one of the other turkeys is going to be cooked in the oven. Thank you, Nevea. Thank you, Annie Ann. I'm getting I'm sorry if I've missed your comments. I haven't been. Yeah, here. if we miss your comment, just uh repeat it. It's no big deal. <clears throat> Let's see. What is a goat's purpose? The goats on our farm's purpose is for meat consumption. Uh, we butcher some of them, have them butchered, but mostly we sell them to others for meat. Jamie and Clink Crew Unleashed. Happy Turkey Day from Iowa. Hello. Thank you. Hey, Patricia. Stony Creek says the wife kicked out of the kitchen. Laugh out loud. I thought I'd hang out with y'all this evening. <laughs> Yeah, we just actually, we just got done uh, baking a couple of pumpkin pies. Uh, my mom's going to make a uh, pecan pie. That's Rachel's favorite. And I don't have a birthday cake, so that's what you're going to have to put some candles in that pecan pie and blow it. Hey, I knew it was your favorite, so. That's the best birthday ever. Yeah. When I was a little girl, I always thought Thanksgiving was my birthday That is party. pretty cool. Yeah. And then when my birthday wasn't on Thanksgiving, I was really <laughs> disappointed. <laughs> It's not every year, is it? No, it's not. Just once every no. seven years? So Anastasia asked a question. She said, I just learned about chicken bumblefoot. Do you ever have that problem? Yes, we did. Actually, about 12 years ago when we first got chickens, we got some turkeys. And I can't remember. I think the turkeys all got the bumblefoot from the chickens. But that's hmm. all. I don't remember anything about it. All the turkeys ended up dying, actually. They did? Yeah. This was this was a long time ago, like 12 years ago. We just had a few <laughs> small turkeys, and they got that bumblefoot. I don't remember anything. Hey, Dina. Annie Ann says, have you tried the bacon yet from Java? Oh, yes. Yes, we've tried the bacon and pork chops and the sausage, and it was great. I thought the pork chops were a little... They're a little fatty. They had a lot of fat on them, I thought. But it... It gives it a lot of flavor. It did, but like I, I cut a lot of fat off. But that's fine. That's a good thing. You can cut it off. Randy Wilt. Hi, Kevin and Rachel. Just thought I'd join you guys since I am sitting here healing from a triple bypass mm. operation. Love your channel. Well, thank you, Randy. Yeah, we'll, 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 uh, we'll have pray to say you a... uh, to heal quickly with that. That's <laughs> that's a serious thing. <laughs> Sorry, we're trying to talk at the same time yeah. again. Sorry. That's our normal but yes, we will pray for you for some quick healing. That's a big deal. Yep. Hope that goes well. Tammy says, what does ghost taste like? Goats? I think it's, it's a mixture own. between pork and steak. Beef. Um, good Simple Living said, Rachel needs baby doll sheep. No. Not I love baby doll sheep. They're pretty. To look at. Sheep. Eh. 
we'll st stick with goats for now. <laughs> <laughs> We've had sheep on and off for furry friends. Says my years. husband's birthday is today. Next year it's on Thanksgiving. Happy birthday to your husband! Hey, happy birthday! Patricia, happy birthday, Rachel. When you get to a certain age, you can flip your age around and be younger. I'm 64, so I don't mind masquerading as 46. I don't hey. think you want to flip yours around. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Wayne says, just throwing it out there. Happy birthday, Rachel. Thank Thanks, you. Wayne. My wife's birthday is tomorrow, too. Happy birthday, Rachel. Oh, my gosh. I'm way behind That's on cool, the comments. Bill. Thank you. Gwen, I seen you said the pork chops was good. That's good to hear. David Sherbert says, hats in your merch store question. Uh, Do you have any hats in there? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Nevaeh says, Kevin, buy her a baby doll sheep. <laughs> There's not really any around here. Um, Porter Valley Ranch has some. Well, not, not for like, sale. There's no, there's no like breeders around here that sell them. Thank you guys for all the birthday wishes and all the happy Thanksgivings. Let's see. I'm trying to catch up. Bigfoot Farmer said Gianna's birthday is Friday. There's a lot of birthdays. Wow. This week. There is. Dina Martinez. Kevin, I really like your videos and Dutch working together. You two. You two cool dudes. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. We keep each other busy, that's for sure. Bigfoot Farmer, tell your wife I said happy birthday also. We don't even have time to film everything we do. It's just there's so much going on. If we filmed everything, we would never get anything done. No, and... And in my last video, you guys seen my mic messed up at the end. I had to get a new camera because back when Java and the crew was here, you seen where they knocked over the camera multiple times. It actually messed it up. Yeah. And I'd be in the middle of recording something and all of a sudden the screen would freeze and go purple and all this. So I got a new camera, the same model. I just got a new one. And the day Dutch was here and we did the sawmill stuff, I, w I came in and grabbed it. I wasn't even going to film it and he forgot his camera. So I went ahead and filmed it and I had the mic off. I put it on the new camera and for some reason it like this back of it was unscrewed. So anyways, hopefully my next video is not like that. Hey, Jennifer. Walker Farm fam. What's going on, guys? You guys get a deer? I've hey, been seeing you've been going hunting every day. Thank you. Let's see. No problem. I'm giving mugs as Christmas gifts. I'm ordering two from you. Awesome. Thank you, David. Thank I'm not you. sure about the hats, to be honest. I have not been on the Shopify store. And I don't even know what. We keep most of that merch stuff in a tote. We've been slacking. We've been well, so busy. We haven't had any orders in a while. I actually need to check that, make sure something's not going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I usually right. get an email. Okay. Orders, yeah, you definitely. But I haven't, I haven't even thought about it. You definitely need to check that. <clears throat> yeah, we've had so much going on, and we both work full time, so uh, it's busy around here. Catherine says from South Greenland. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I sure wish I could be in the states to enjoy Turkey Day with my children and grands. Greenland. I don't. I don't guess they celebrate Thanksgiving. That's an American thing, right? Donnie Chapman. Kevin is one of my favorites. So humble, but I can truly tell he knows some stuff. Yes, and if he doesn't know it, he uses Google and YouTube. <laughs> Try to figure it out. He always. If he cannot figure something out, it drives him nuts. Yeah, I can't sleep. Like he will not sleep for days. My mom says, "I want to say Hidden Heights Farm subs are the very best. I'm so thankful for you loving and support my kids. Proud mama." Yes, thank well you. Well said, Mom. Hey, Adler Farms, what's going on? Hey, Patricia. Hey, Adler Farms. Where are you seeing this? I don't know. I'm way. You're probably a, ahead of me because hmm. you got your phone out. Walker oh, Farms yeah? says, nope, I think I might quit. Laugh out loud. Rifle season hasn't been nice to me. Oh. Well, I don't know if you guys have seen because I haven't put anything on YouTube. I actually, if you follow our Facebook page, you'll see um, – we went hunting one time. I took the kids out, and Kaya sat with me, and uh, she had her own rifle, and she was going to shoot at a buck, but it actually got too far out of distance. So she said, Dad, I want you to shoot it. So she handed me her rifle, and I shot a buck. And I shared a picture of it and stuff on our Instagram and Facebook if you guys want to go check it out. I have not put anything on YouTube, and I, haven't, I didn't film it or anything. I just kind of wanted to enjoy it without cameras and all that. So we actually got a good good sized buck for our area. So And it does it adds pressure 
to the kids right. because they're, they're fairly new to hunting. This is only their, this is Kaya's first year first and year. Caleb's second year. Yep. So yeah, it's good that you're yep. have quality time and giving yeah, them instructions. So it's the aspect of cameras in your face always changes things when kids see cameras out and about, you know, it's know. another stress added, especially when you have a rifle in your hand or anything like that. So it's best just to focus yeah. on Le as they're just learning. Right. So um, Lone Eagle says, happy birthday. Pretty sure it's my hey, granddad. Hello. Um, hey, granddad. So Kaya was really nervous the whole time shooting the rifle and everything when we were practicing. And that's actually a good thing. You know, she wanted to know <sighs> Better be careful how, what I say on here. She wanted to know, you know, she was just worried about all the safety aspects of it. And that's a good thing. That's why you practice with the kids and you go over it and over it yeah. and over it. And that kind of scares them away from if they ever come up on one at someone else's house or anything, they don't just pick it up and play with it. So she's always thinking about that. Even when we're hunting, you know, she's running all the routine through her head because there's a lot to it than just pointing it at something and yeah. doing it, you know. Anyways. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to, James Burke says, when is the next pig growth going to be? Have any idea? Mm, maybe we, in the spring. We don't know. That was more just like a, uh, Hey like buddy. Hey buddy. Friends type family and friends type deal. Buddy. Oh, I told my wife I could not help her because you were going live. <laughs> <laughs> he is strong. Oh, he was telling Adler farms. Hello. Catherine, you would enjoy reindeer meat from here. I've never tried it. I would. Charla Rose asked, why no cows? We've had cows in the past. We just don't have the right land for cows. Yeah. And we only have really. Yeah, we don't have enough land to run. We only have 20 cattle. acres. Yeah. Total. Goats work out really well where we live. Right. I do. I mean, I like cows. I love, I love beef. If we had more land and more pasture land, we would definitely have cattle. Because honestly, cattle are Less easier than goats. Goats are a, if you're wanting to start out with animals, I would start out with chickens or something yeah, like yeah, that. Sure. Uh, because they're more of an, I would even say more of like an intermediate or expert level type animal. Yep. So. Uh-oh, we got a super chat. Hello. I'll let you read it. Sue Peterson Goodson, happy birthday. Cheers to health and happiness. $40. Thank you so much, Sue. Thank we you appreciate so much, Sue. That. That was awesome. Thank you. You guys know you don't have to do that, but we appreciate it so much. Kennington Garden Life, what's going on? Stony oh. Creek, goats rule. Catherine, uh, Kevin and Rachel, have you got your pig meat back yet? Yes, yes we did. And it's awesome. It was delicious. Java just about filled up the freezer. Biddy Boo's homestead. You don't want a real rocky land with cattle. You need very right. good pasture. True, that's correct. And our yeah. our land is yeah, super rocks. rocky. If you've ever watched any time Kevin is digging, it's horrible. Yeah. It adds a lot of work for sure. Yes. So do you guys want to guess on the weight? I get a lot of comments. How much did job weigh? What do you guys guess that job weighed the day I delivered him to the processor? When he got off the trailer, what did he weigh? What do you think? I don't even know what he weighed. The goal for all of them was 300 pounds, which Jabba was a little bit older. Hey, Pennington Garden Life. Thanks for stopping in. But I'll tell you guys here in a minute. Oh, here comes John the L. Paw. Happy birthday, Rachel. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much. He was under 400 pounds. Thanks for stopping in, Stony Creek. He was over 300 and under 400. <laughs> Good, simple living. I'll give you $10 if you dance. Nope. <laughs> Kevin wouldn't take that. He wouldn't dance for $100. Nope. Hey, the back door's open. Oh, people are getting closer. I don't even know what he was. Do I know what he was? Yeah, I told you. I don't remember. Oh, I'm getting really, really close. So it's between what? It's actually between 350 and 400. Between 350 and 400. Yep. He was hmm. He was 67 pounds bigger than 
one of the black ones. Hmm. <laughs> the Vea. Oh. I want to see a TikTok dance, Kevin. Who guessed it? Good Simple Living. Are you serious? I'm pretty sure I told her, maybe. <laughs> Jeremy, Melissa, did I already tell you? Because they just guessed it right on the dot. Wow. 367 pounds. You probably told them already. I think I did. Did you? Probably. I don't know. I have to go back and look. Oh. But a lot of you were really close. You guys were close. I didn't even. Yeah, Mr. Beast and Jabba. She so said, Mr. Beast is the, is the pig, the GOS pig that Dutch raised. And Jabba was the one we raised. And I actually bought both of them. And then Dutch bought, uh, we went in together and he bought Mr. Beast. He ended up on his farm. Anyways, they're brothers. And Mr. Beast was a couple weeks older, like three to four weeks older than Jabba. <laughs> and I think he weighed like 390. Now you give me $10, she said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any prizes. How Snowball doing the stalker chicken, Patricia wants to know. Snowball or butterscotch? What'd you end oh, up naming her? Well, hold on a second. Um, I'm trying to think. Hey, Moorhead Homestead. What's going on, guys? Hey, guys. Um, so if you guys are on here and you don't know, we have a poll on our YouTube community page right now with two names. You can pick between Blondie and Butterscotch, and I think it's going to be on there for another couple days. That was our, I think, two most popular names. Yeah, it was way the two way most popular Butterscotch names. is going to win, though. Well, I think Butterscotch was like 75%, and that was out of like a 1,000 votes. Huh. Let me look real quick. So Moorhead Homestead just had some huge news that they announced yep. on their channel. Congratulations, guys. Yes, we're excited for um, you guys. So we got 3,500 3, votes. Wow, that's crazy. 3,500 votes on what name to name the white chicken. 73% says Butterscotch. Yep. I didn't never dream that many people would uh, vote on that. That's awesome. Jamie and Clink Crew Unleash Blondie Chicken. Yeah, we had a lot of people that said Blondie too. And we just, I mean, every day she, it's like she took the role of red 100% because every day she's coming up to our windows, looking in the windows, just like red did. Every time I go to the shop to feed any of the animals or go do any work, she is right on my trail every day. Hey, Rustic Woodwork. Hey, guys, what's going on? Let's see. Joy Blessed Life. Just popping in to say hi. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Got to start preparing Thanksgiving dinner. Thank you for stopping in. We appreciate yep. it. Silhouette Park Farm. I voted Blondie. Looks like it will be Butterscotch. Dude, there, there was so many more people commenting on the video when it came up. Uh for Blondie, like that's like I was like, oh, it's gonna be Blondie for sure because there were so many more comments with that name. But on the poll, on the voting, three thousand five hundred people, seventy three percent says Butterscotch. So. I voted Butterscotch. <laughs> you voted? Well, yeah. You can't vote. I can too. <laughs> I'm a subscriber. Rosa says, "Why aren't you at forty thousand yet? We're getting close, real close." So somebody, hold on. Somebody said Dot. I think Dina said Dot is doing well. He pushes himself around. Yes, we follow Dot. VW, Pam, or VW Family Farm. I think so. I can't always get it VW Family up. Farm. Yeah. yeah, I think so. So yeah, I I stop in on their channel every now and then and check on Dot. Yeah, he's kind he's of he's the now. boss. Yeah, he has he that mentality. <laughs> he's like. Get out of my way. Butterball was the boss, though, when they were all here, remember? She was huge. Yeah, she was. But Dot got right in there and pushed back. I sure miss those little people. Allison says, happy birthday, Rachel, and happy Thanksgiving. Thank God you. bless you all. She feeds them. She names it. <laughs> Adler, Adler Farm says, you you can vote at your B-Day. Yes, your thank birthday's you. Birthday's not actually till midnight. Tomorrow, it's tomorrow. Well, Rustic Woodwork says, hey, at work, just sat down to eat dinner. Piney Haven Homestead. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes, thank you. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys, too. Yes, I hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving, whatever you decide to do. I know some people are going to be at home by themselves. So, yeah. We're used to huge family Thanksgivings. Yes. Normally at my grandpa's, we have probably close to 60 or more. Usually at least 
50. But, and then at his family's, we usually have probably close to 30. Yeah. I would say usually pretty, pretty big ones, but like with all the virus going around right now, yeah. it's just safe that we all kind of do smaller get togethers. Ours is going to be under 10. Ours would be yeah, 10 people, like eight people, maybe super chat. Thank good you. Simple good. living pumpkin pie fund. <laughs> Where'd you find the little symbol Pumpkin for that? Pie fund. Thank you Thank guys you. so much. That is cute. That's that's in case our pumpkin pies that we made from scratch don't turn out. We can go to the store. Oh, they're going to turn out, I promise. I already <laughs> kind of tasted one when I checked. Huh. So, Good Simple Living, they got some big news going on. They just got a new toy on their farm. Yes, they I say did. toy. It's actually a, probably the most useful tool you can ever have. But it is fun. It's fun and it's very yeah, useful. It is. <laughs> Paula Wells, fifteen dollars <laughs> for the whipped cream for the pie. Thank you, Paula. <laughs> Paula, me. I bet you cook an amazing Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, I probably can guarantee it. I guarantee you, she does. Yeah. If you've ever had her salsa, you yes. know. Yes. Well, I bet she cooks a lot of good stuff. Yes. I know, but her salsa is the bomb. Costco pies the bee's knees. We don't have a Costco. No, we're we're we in the boonies. Walmart. We don't even have Walmart. Twenty five minutes is the closest Walmart <laughs> to us. Bigfoot Farmer, twenty dollars. Happy Thanksgiving. Barb Thank says. Thank you, Bigfoot Farmer. Oh, hold on. I, I got to read this real quick because I seen her ask Thank this while ago and I missed it. Barb says, "Did you get any edible pumpkins from your garden this year? We didn't plan any. No, we didn't plan any this time. But I wish we did. Okay." $20 super chat from Bigfoot Farmer. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. We appreciate it. Yep. Thank you guys so much. Let's see. I think I've seen his, he, he just had a video pop up while ago and it looked like he had a turkey that he was fixing to uh, prepare. I haven't watched it yet. John says he's staying home with Kathy, not hosting for the first time in 32 years. Yeah, there's wow. a lot of that going on. And this is our first time hosting yep. it. So, so new beginnings. It's definitely new for us. Good simple living. Fifteen dollars. That's enough for a whipped cream bikini. Jamie, I can do that with a dollar. Jamie says whipped cream from the can or Cool Whip. We do Cool Whip. Yeah. I like Cool Whip. I like both. <laughs> good simple living. I just read that comment. Yeah. Walker Farm fam. Good simple living. We get Costco pumpkin and pecan. Excited. What? We got Costco pumpkin. Where do you go to Costco? Where is Wausau? Costco? Tulsa and Owasso, I think. Not sure. Ian Pedmar. Congratulations, Bo and Lindy at Moorhead, Moorhead Homestead. Yeah, that's yeah. exciting. Uh, like we said, they have some big news, so go check out their video. Oh. It's pretty exciting. Kelly, $10 Super well, Chat. hello, Happy Kelly. Happy Thanksgiving. Good to Thank see you in you. here. Thank you, Kelly. We always appreciate all of you um, longtime supporters and followers. Everybody. Yes. Everybody. There's so many of you that's been with us since day one. Yes. That's on here. And we appreciate you guys for sticking with us and everything. You guys have no Any idea. And ha ha. Think about what you just said, Kevin. I don't know what I just said. Oh, I can do it for a dollar. <laughs> I think that's what you're talking <laughs> about. I'm not sure. I was talking about the bikini. Sal Tulsa. Yeah, that, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Walker said there's one in South Tulsa. Sarah picks them up. Yeah, I think there's only one. Huh. I've never been to a Costco. We're true rednecks. If I can't get it at the dollar store here in our town, I yeah, usually Yeah, we don't, don't go to Tulsa it. very much. Now, we did go the other night. That was for your birthday dinner. With uh, Dutch and Brandy. We celebrated. We went to Nola's Creole. Oh, my gosh. It was the <laughs> Paul best. Paul says, I've been there since the videos were painful to watch. <laughs> I can't even watch them from the beginning. Uh, My gosh. They are, they. I'm telling you right now, if it wasn't for Dutch pushing me to do it, I wouldn't be here now. No. Because it's hard. Yeah. If. He, Thanks for stopping in, Brandon. Stay safe out there, buddy. Yes. Thank Happy you. Happy birthday, Rachel. Hope you all have a great night and Thanksgiving. You too, bud. You too. Thank you. Barb Bonham. My bad on the pumpkins. Yeah, man, I wish. Thank you, Barb. We appreciate it. Last year, we did plant pumpkins and the chickens ate them all, but that's why we put the fence up and we didn't plant pumpkins. $10 super chat from Barb. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. We appreciate it. Oh my that. gosh, I hate watching old videos too. 
we all come a long way. So oh. if you're new, if you're a small channel and you're just starting off, do not give up. Keep no. going. I promise when you look back a year from now, you'll be like, whoa, what was I thinking? Yeah. Like Kevin said, if it wasn't for Dutch, yeah, we would have never up, got started again. Mr. Abro42, $5 super chat. Hey, thank, thank you. you. We appreciate that. Guys, thank you all so much. We appreciate you guys just stopping in here and just visiting with us. You got awesome. <laughs> Hank the puppy dug all our pumpkins up. Sadie. Whoa. Thank you for all your adventures you share with us. A hundred dollars super chat. Thank you, Sadie. Thank we you appreciate so much, you guys. Sadie. And we don't do lives, you guys know that for super chats, but we greatly appreciate it. Wow. Thank you again, all of you guys. I heard about you from Keeping It Dutch and heard about Dutch from Arm Family Homestead. Thank you for stopping Thank you, in, Darlene. Darlene. Anastasia, I'm a new watcher and I looked at some of the old videos. Had to stop because you looked so uncomfortable, Kevin. Oh, man. Big time. <laughs> like, big time. And, uh. and the, the viewers, you guys... I call you guys viewers, but you guys are really my friends because you guys are always supportive no matter what. You guys pushed us along the way. You guys told me, you know, things to let go, don't worry about, and just be myself and yep. be more comfortable. And that's, that's helped out a lot. Yeah. So I owe you guys a lot of credit. We, a lot oh, of you guys have been here for yes. a long time. Without your kind words, yep. we wouldn't have kept doing it probably. So we appreciate you guys. For sure. So let's see. I'm way behind here. Where are you at? Hold on. Walker Farm Fam. Don't know what you were talking about. Our first video was amazing. Kidding. Sounded like we were in a windstorm. <laughs> Been there. Uh, Our last video, at the end, the mic started cutting out, so it turned into a big mess. Cindy said she joined when we were at 3,000. There's wow, a lot of people that's you. been here when we first started. <clears throat> thank you so much. $10 super chat from Tammy Matlock. Thank you so much, Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. Let's see. Um, have a blessed Thanksgiving. Have to go for tonight. You have come a long way. You're wonderful. <laughs> thank you. Pennington Garden Life. I remember I kept telling you to relax. Yep. You yes. were one of them. Yes. We, yes. We cannot thank you guys enough. You guys have no idea. All you guys' kind words and your messages and things like that and reassurance of the, the path that we're on has really just kept yeah. us going. So John Kohler, I was watching Arms Family past six years, found Dutch to four years ago, and you. Thank you, John. Carol Magdaleno, $25 super chat. Thank, wow, thank you. Thank you, Carol. For I hope I said your last name right. I'm terrible. Magdaleno. At... Yep. Thank you. Man, I see a lot of thank new you, Kelly. I, I see a lot of new names in here also. So that's awesome. Bigfoot farmer. Hard work pays off. You're right. It does. Yes, it does. Yes. And we've had a lot of great supporters. So yes. Mr. Abro42. That vacation you guys took with Dutch's fam looked like fun. Was it Branson? Yes. Yes, it was. It's about two and a half, three hours from here. Little mini vacation, we call it. Patricia Brown, Kevin, the mic part was funny. It sounded like uh, loud electrical current. Yeah, I need to make sure that it's fixed before I start making another video. Yeah. That's going to be really disappointing. Big John says, hello, welcome. Hey, John. Kathy Nicholson, we are just starting out, and it's harder than it looks. We have a lot to learn. It's, yes, it is a lot to learn, but don't give up. Yeah, it's 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 not easy. I don't care what anybody says. Really, YouTube is a full time job. If you put out videos even just once a week, yeah, it's a lot of work getting the editing and things down. Adler Farm says, "I found you a few years back. You were tracking a mouse through an old red tractor. That was in the Kubota, and a rat, a giant rat, chewed all my wires up. That was a mess." I don't even remember that. And I caught that. that sucker like a couple of days later. Awesome. Yeah, he chewed my fuel line. He chewed all the wires in there. It was it was a it was bad. Dina says I dislocated <laughs> my shoulder. So thankful for being alone this year. No cooking, baking, or dirty dishes. Hey, Ooh, take care of yourself, Dina. Yeah, we hope you heal quick. But it's nice to not have to host at least and put Mark on a says big I Just turn my volume way up on that video. <laughs> Nicholson Family Acres says, watch our first one. 
Hey, Nicholson Family Acres, welcome. Mr. Abro, enjoy all your projects from the pickup to the farming and building great videos. Yeah, you never know what you're going to see come out of our channel. We haven't done, well, we have done some cooking, but it might be cooking, it might be truck, tractor, chickens, pigs, goats, whatever. sawmill now. It's just whatever we're, whatever. well, whatever Kevin's normally doing. We, I'm not We've done some on. fishing videos, hunting videos. I don't know. We just, we just we mix a family it up. vlog. Well, we don't do we don't do the personal vlogging like take a camera with us every Everywhere. time we're in a car or in a store. Right. Like, I, know, I think a lot of people like watching that, but it's just at some point you got to have. For right now, I think it's just best to have a separation. You know, we <clears> could <throat> film twenty four seven, but I don't know. I don't. We're not that exciting. No, think. exactly. <laughs> we're just plain normal people. I think we're normal. And when you have full time jobs, yeah, you can't do. You that. can't film twenty four seven. We're just we don't have that capability right now. So, my husband and son just found a second freezer. Yay! Yeah, that's <clears throat> that's hard to do right now. Jennifer Aiken, keeping it real matters. Making memories for the kids. Yeah. Yes. Like, I really wish I would have filmed the other day when me and Kaya got that big buck. But, you know, like I said, we didn't, we chose not to take the camera just to enjoy the time together. And, and it worked out awesome, which on the upside of that, it would have been awesome to have a camera to film that because she was so excited. But, so Tuba two, OG, <clears throat> go ahead. No, you, you go ahead. Love the plans for the feeder. Did you get your turkey ready for tomorrow? Many prayers. Yep. Thank you. We did. Uh, I butchered a turkey, I think, two days ago, and it's been in the cooler getting ready. And then tonight, we'll get them all prepared to go on first thing in the morning. Jamie and Barb says, I can't tell Ginger from Tawny. Uh, Ginger is a little smaller. Yeah, she's smaller. Still, but their colors are pretty much the same. Tawny's a big girl. Jamie Clink Crew Unleashed. Been following for one and a half years now. Just... Change my name to start a YouTube. I'm freaking out. I'm the mini schnauzer lady. Oh, oh that's right. Just, just just keep posting. And yes. even if you think people won't watch it, just post it and stay confident in yourself. Don't double guess yourself. If you make a video, just post it. Don't ever not post. Yeah. Because I promise you, the videos that you don't think will do good will always do better than the ones that you think you work really hard and you're like man this video is awesome everybody's gonna love it it never works that way i promise and it's hard to plan stuff out yeah because then you feel like if it don't go as planned you failed so don't put too much pressure on yourself like yeah it's hard i don't know how many times i started projects and you start filming it and then all of a sudden you don't have the right tool or the material or something don't go right there's always something just People want to see in my in my well in my opinion anyways I guess people would always rather see the truth and the reality rather than you hiding and you know hide your mistakes or your failures people want to see whatever happens either way well and if you paint a pretty picture <clears throat> and you're on a farm or doing certain things and you paint this beautiful picture it's all sunshine and rainbows and yeah. When people get into that, we're going to be like, um, wow, I did not know I was getting into this. Yeah, so. for sure. Annie Ann, $25 super chat. Oh, thank you, for Annie For Rachel's Ann. birthday, buy something just for you. Thank you, Annie Ann. We appreciate it. But, yeah, it's it's so much easier to be honest. And I, I know I repeat myself all the time when we get sick animals and stuff like that. You know, we don't – you could easily not show that and just do away with it. But – Raising goats, I'm going to use this as an example, is not easy. I don't care what anybody says. It's work, and you have to you have to keep your eyes on them all the time, every day. And they can go south pretty quick. And if you're not reacting to that, you're going to have problems. So we don't want to just make videos about any animals and just show all the good stuff and never any of the bad. Because then people will watch our videos, and they'll be like, well, you guys do it, and it's so easy. How do you do it? We do it and we have sick goats all the time. You know, to me, that would be, if I was in their shoes, I'd be like, man, I'm a failure, but it's just part of and it. And you do feel like that. 
Yep. I'm not sure. going to lie. If you lose animals one after another, like we've had parasite problems in the past or just different things yep. happen that, I mean, it don't matter what we do. Things will happen with goats because they are very, very high maintenance and they are a hard yep. animal to raise. So it, you do feel very depressed and like a failure, but if we don't show that kind of stuff, you guys are not going to know what you're getting into. Right. You so. had a $25 super chat from Lucy Key. Lucy, thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Lucy, so much. Pennington Garden Life, we are taking a small break from filming because of an upcoming surgery I'm preparing for. But we'll be right back as soon as I'm done healing. Take care of yourself. Yes, we'll be praying for you. Dina says, Kev, your voice used to be so stiff, but now you're very smooth and laugh a lot more. You've come a long way. Well done. Thank you, Dina. Sadie See, <clears throat> you guys send all the uh, awesome feedback, whether it be good or bad, positive or negative. You know, that's the stuff we want to hear. And I tell him, I remember myself telling him, don't be so serious. You're too serious. Lighten <laughs> up. You're trying too hard. Yep. Because he would think about every word he was going to say beforehand. and it would. I'd start so recording serious. the video. I'd talk one sentence and I'd stop it. And then I'd start <laughs> another sentence and stop it. Now you just let it go. Sadie says, hidden heights and keeping it Dutch, true family values and honest friends. Yep. How is the sawmill? It's awesome. They got a lot of learning to do on it, but it's going to be awesome. I personally have not got to watch it in action yet because they've. Yeah, we need to have a sawmill work. party day. Yes, because me and Brandy probably want to do some projects. It is it is fun. I mean, it is mesmerizing fun. We might take it over. Like if I had a whole forest of trees, <laughs> I could stay busy doing that all the time. It's fun and it's enjoyable. Every tree we've cut so far, they're all distinctively different and just beautiful. The gardener. Hello, Kevin and Rachel. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you all for stopping in. Cindy Brown says, I love that Salinas you all world. are drama free zone too. Thank you. Yep. We appreciate that. We strive for that, no doubt. And we will not put up with none of it. Peanut Gallery. Hello, Hidden Heights Farm. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Peanut. I see. I think Peanut is one of our newest uh, channel members. And Paula is uh, talking to Nevaeh Souza, who has started behind the scenes of Good Simple Living. You, and I love watching her behind the Nevea scenes. Nevaeh does an awesome job. Just besides doing this, you know, talking about her parents and stuff's channel, like just the stuff that her and her siblings do. Yes, is, I is love hilarious. it. hilarious. You keep at it, Nevaeh. Yes, you're doing awesome. Because, I mean, that's something we enjoy watching. Yeah. So. Yep. We love just to see, you know, I like seeing all have. the different little personalities that each kid has and yes. stuff like that. It's awesome. Yeah, keep it up. You're doing good. Let's see. I'm trying to catch up on comments. Sue says guys. you have young children, so it's probably better to have some privacy with the kids. Yes, for sure. Right. And then, I mean, exactly yeah. privacy with. With smaller kids, I mean, they're Kenny Falls crafts and more. Happy birthday, Rachel! Hope it's amazing. Thank James you, James Knight. Happy birthday, Rachel. Nevea, thank you guys so much. Good simple living. Farm life has serious ups and downs. Yes, it does. Yep. It does. It teaches you a lot, and you have to deal a lot with different emotions for sure. Yeah, some people just natural at doing videos. I think Nevea, she's going to go a long way. She's she super will. talented. She's super. She's, well, I think, was she 13? I think so. And she's Close already doing doing awesome on YouTube. Kathy Nicholson, do you have any experience with Nigerian dwarf goats? I'm thinking they might be good. <laughs> that was our first goat. Yes. We, are, we used to milk them. We had, our first herd was like four Nigerian dwarfs, three does and one buck. They were registered too. And our first buck's name was Professor. <laughs> all, we actually bought goats. From a farm, and they named them all after Gilligan's Island. Right? Oh, they did. Yes, that's what the professor was. Okay, so we had. Um, he was awesome. What was the last goat that that I had to actually have to take and have her put down? Sierra or Sienna? Mm. Think about Sienna. So we had her. She lived to be like twelve or something. I think she was older than that. I don't remember. She died right when Bear died. Hey, Farmall Fanatic, what's going on, when man? When Bear died. 
Yeah, I don't remember. She they was, were buddies. She was probably close to 15 years old, which is really old for a goat. Yeah, I don't even know if she even had teeth anymore. No, and so I actually had to take her and have her put down at the vet. And boy, that was a hard day. But we had her for a long time. So yes, starting out with Nigerian dwarfs, that's a good plan if you yep. want to start with some. So we got Farmall Fanatic in hey, here now. Hey, Farmall. Um, Jeanette says, Nevea has an amazing voice. Pamela, I love your channel. You both take such good care of your animals, so they are healthy and happy, good family content. Thank you, Sandra. Rachel, tell Kevin to build you a she shed for your birthday. <laughs> Brent Mouse, awesome channel, guys. Watch you guys in Dutch all the time. Is that the Thank same you. Brent Mouse from uh, Salina? I don't know. Salina's world. I am 53, and she does way better than I will ever do. Hey, keep at it. Just practice. Yep. Nicholson Family Acres. Think we will name ours after our family members. <laughs> Dina. Yeah, whenever whenever uh, Kaya gets a little older, I might turn them loose. She she's uh she's the adventurous one. Yes. Now <clears throat> Caleb, he he wants to do a channel, but he is more like he wants to do a gaming channel. Yeah, he wants to do. I don't even know what they call that. I don't Streaming? either. I don't know. Streaming on the PlayStation. I don't know. But I don't want to get into all that. Yeah, it is Brent Mouse. What's going on, man? Hello, Brent. I seen you just got a buck. Was it yesterday? Or is it, it was yesterday. That was a good one. Mr. Abro42, out of curiosity, I know nothing about farming. What is the life expectancy of pigs? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly, honestly don't know. I could not tell you because <laughs> we've never had them that long. No. I, did, I, I know some people that's had boar hogs for seven years, for sure. Seven years? Yeah. I would say about seven years. I, yeah. bet, I bet like 10 years. Nevaeh says Twitch <laughs> streaming. I think that is what he's is. mentioned. He's always wanting to know, can we download Twitch? And I'm like, I don't even know what you're talking about. We're just not, we're not sure about turning them loose on anything no, like a that. A lot of kids think that you can just grab a camera and then you automatically have YouTube videos, but they don't know the what editing. goes behind the editing and everything else. Yes. There's so much involved. And with us both working full time, one channel is about all we can do posting every two yeah. days of content. So that's kind of max for us right now. With both like, of us like Walter Farm just said, kids want to do a channel, don't have the energy right now. That, yes. That's a lot. It is a lot of work. And if a kid has a camera and you're just going around filming whatever, you would have to edit probably so much. Yeah. And you guys know that have channels. And, and if you have families and jobs and, you know, there's so much more that you have to do, especially, you know, having a farm. Then you have you know, animals to take yeah. care of. So Ad Adler forms case started a gaming channel. I'm terrified and nervous. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm against it. I think it's an awesome learning experience. And you know, a lot of kids go really far with that stuff. I mean, it's, it's the up and coming thing. People make millions of dollars doing that. And uh, it's, if that's what they want to do and when they're old enough to do it and be responsible, I'll support it. But Thank you, Paula. Good Simple Living says, darn kids these days in their MTV. <laughs> <laughs> Just curious. I bet the hot sausage was delicious. Yes, it was. That's it all we was got. What? Delicious. <laughs> um, Annie Ann said, we had a boar for nine years. Thanks, Randy, for stopping in. That's, that's old. Wayne yes. says, Twitch streaming pulls it from the computer itself but needs a good mic. Bigfoot Farmer says, yeah, Weston is getting into filming. How old's Weston? Thank you, Gardner. Well, like uh, Hayden, she has her own channel, and she's barely older than Caleb, and she does most of it on her phone. But yeah. I, I think Dutch edits for her, I think. I think he does the editing for her. Our kids don't have any phones or devices that no. they could film with right now. I don't know. Maybe in the tablets. future, if we ever make yeah, time, I don't know. We eventually. just don't have the time right now. Domestic pigs of 15 to 20 years. Huh. Bigfoot Farmer says six months when you butcher them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's why we were like, I, I don't think, know. I think Farmall said that too. Oh, awesome. Thank you guys for backing us up there, helping uh, us out. Annie Ann says he became a pet after his service was over. 
Chickasaw Scott, you can get college scholarships for gaming. Yeah, you can now. It's 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 crazy. Wow. Thank mm -hmm. you, moderators. For everyone that's moderating, we appreciate you yes. greatly. Cindy Brown says, tell Caleb to be your cameraman for the while. Then maybe he has actually been my cameraman. Yeah. Um, I can think of one video for sure. When we had the goat emergency, we had to rush a goat to the emergency uh, room at the vet clinic. I handed him my phone. I said, make sure you record all this. And, you know, he didn't. He doesn't ever know. He doesn't ever play with the phone, so he doesn't even know really how to work it. But he figured it out, and he did a good job. Yeah, I've let him film a couple times, and we did one video where it was like an adventure <laughs> on the farm, where we just yeah. took the the camera. We need yeah. to do that again. Yeah, that was fun. And Caleb got kind of embarrassed because his teacher pulled it up in class and showed <laughs> the whole class. Good Simple Living Nevaeh has an old iPhone with no phone service. She edits right on the phone. Wow. wow. That's talent right there. I don't think I I don't even know anything about editing. Neve Kevin does Neve all says my vids are made on good old iMovie. I use iMovie, but I use a MacBook Pro. Nevaeh, you do a good job, girl. Yeah, you do awesome. Joanne Tuck, happy the birthday! Pasture. Thank you. Hello, friends. Good to join you all tonight. Hi, Carol. Hey, guys. If we missed your comment, I am so sorry. We're trying to keep up here. We're not very good at keeping up with comments. The homesteading pastor. Hello, my friends. Good to join y'all tonight. Thanks for stopping in. So we've been on here 51 minutes. We're staying on for about nine or 10 more minutes. We, we still got to get everything prepared for Thanksgiving early in the morning. So if you guys got any questions or anything, ask them away now. Please. Okay. Dina says, Caleb is techie and that'll be helpful. He is pretty techie. Go. Most kids are these days. We're fixing to cook dinner, Kaya. Yeah, we're fixing to cook <laughs> dinner. It's gonna be like seven thirty, but and she's over there eating. We got, a bowl we got of some deer meat. We got some cereal. back strap. We're fixing to cook up some tenderloin. <laughs> it's fine. You you can still eat. Uh, David Graves, Justin Rhodes' voice started filming, but their videos don't have comment sections. Got to keep the haters yeah. away from the kiddos. That's yes. A must. yes. That's Did a must. One day, not yet. <clears throat> One of these. Perry days. says, did you get a deer? Yes, I got a deer on Sunday, and I was just talking about a little bit ago. You might not have been on here. I posted a picture of me and Kai and the deer on our Facebook and our Instagram. If you guys don't follow us on there, you can go check all that out. I don't think I put it on our community page on YouTube. I don't know. It's not in the video either. So Thanks for stopping in, Pennington. Yep, thank you. Good Simple Living, what is your favorite deer recipe? Fried uh, tenderloin, backstrap. Okay, I'm going to give you all a little secret. Or the uh, jalapeno poppers with the cream cheese or cheddar wrapped in bacon with the little little cubes of some backstrap on that. That's probably the best. So I order flour, a flour mixture from Daylight Donuts. And it's chicken it's breading. Seasoned flour. Is it's, what it is. it's chicken breading that they use for their, I guess, their fried chicken or something, boneless chicken. I don't know. That stuff is amazing. I use it, it on it everything. Made in Tulsa. Yes, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Over on 11th Street, I think. They, I don't think you can order it off the website. You actually have to call the store and order it, but, but it's awesome. it is awesome. I gave some to Dutch for him to try. Yep. So, any we'll answers? We like bacon that. wrap backstrap. So, what I did is I took. I took these big jalapenos we grew, cut them in half, stuck some cream cheese in there, stuck a little cube of the back strap in there and wrapped it with bacon and cooked it. And it was amazing. Sherry wants to know if the weather is cold in Oklahoma. She's in Kentucky. It's in the 40s right now. Um, if you don't like the weather degrees. today, it'll change tomorrow. It's going to be 66 tomorrow. That's Oklahoma. It's never consistent. Ever. <laughs> yep. Dave, you two are great together, a generational couple. Well, thank, thank you. you. It is see. good. I guarantee you if you try it. So here's here's something that a lot of people mess up with the deer meat, and this is, goes with chicken or turkey, anything. If you guys kill a deer, a lot of people, I don't know if everybody does it, but I know some people do it. As soon as they kill it, they'll, they'll bring it home and skin it and cut it up and stick it in the freezer. Let that thing hang a couple of days. If you live somewhere where it's cold enough or if you're like Dutch, 
he has a walk-in cooler where he can hang the deer in. Yeah, if you hang that awesome. thing for two to three days, or even if you don't have a walk-in cooler and it's warm, cut it up, go ahead and debone it and just stick it in a pot, like a big bucket or something in your refrigerator if you can fit it with some salt water, a little bit of salt water, and just let it set for two to three days before you put it in the freezer, and it will be so much better <laughs> and tender. <clears throat> Dutch hung his for how many days? 18? I think 18 days this last time. In his cooler. Uh, cooler. And he said it was the best. He said it was so tender. Deer he'd ever had. Annie Ann, we soak in ice water for several days. Yep. Uh, Mr. Aber, I want to try that spice you showed in the last cooking video. What was the name again? You want to say hi, Kaya? Mm -hmm. Hi. She got her PJs on already. That was uh, all right. Mr. Abro, that was Everglades seasoning. You can get it on Amazon. I think it was in a link in your video, yeah, wasn't it? it was. In one of his in videos, he linked it. All right. Let's see. Everybody's saying, hi, Kaya. <laughs> hi. Oh, Peanut says, hi, sweet Kaya. Love that little girl. You ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow? Gwen says, hi. Right. What you going to eat? Turkey. And turkey, <laughs> turkey leg, turkey leg. Yeah, you probably would eat the whole turkey leg. She loves. She likes the bone, is what she calls yeah, it. Yeah, she loves chicken legs, turkey chicken legs, chicken bones, whatever. <laughs> she always says chicken bones when she wants the leg of a chicken. <clears throat> oh, everybody says love that sweet smile. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Mouse says hi. <gasps> uh, you better tell her hi. Brent says, Mrs. Mouse says hi. Say hi, Mrs. Mouse. Hi, Mrs. Mouse. <laughs> uh, I don't think she's combed her hair today. Nope. <laughs> that's okay. Um, nothing. You're we, just enjoying We've your, been cleaning your all break day. from school, right? Mm -hmm. Haven't we? Yeah. Cleaning <laughs> hey, and quit shaking enjoying the, the break. everybody dizzy. You've, had, you've done some chores for me, haven't you? Mark says, I could eat cereal yeah. all day, Miss Kaya. I already finished it. I had like a big <laughs> giant bowl. Nevaeh says, love your PJs, Kaya. Ha -ha. Thank you. It's like a unicorn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, can I see it? Yep. Yeah. yeah. We love pajamas, don't we? Annie Ann says, my sister used to chew the bones. Wait, we got Thanks a, for stopping in, Cindy. We got a $100 bill. <laughs> or a hundred dollars. Super. Where have you yeah, been? Yeah, super chat. Huh? Kaya's warm. Kaya warms my heart. Yes, and again, thank you, Mark. Rachel's mini me. Yes, for sure. Yes, she is, and she is an animal lover like me. Are you? And Kay, or Caleb is his. I mean, like I love animals too. I'm not saying you don't. But her personality is more like mine, and Caleb is your clone. <laughs> Looks, actions, everything. <laughs> yeah. Sadie, sorry, I'm it. excited. I finally cut your channel live. I tend to repeat myself. That's okay. It's we okay. miss a lot of comments. Yes, you guys repeat yourself as much as you want because we're not yeah. very good at keeping up with the comments. So someone said unicorn. Yeah. Are you guys getting a mobile sawmill too? Um, no, no, we won't be getting one. <clears throat> so, but I do want to, uh, one thing I want to do with the sawmill that Dutch has is find some trees and I want to try to start making some, uh, furniture. I, you guys can't see it, but I actually made our dinner table that we have here and it was the first time I ever tried it and it actually turned out way better than I ever expected. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Yes. And you know, best friends help each other. Kevin yep. always is helping Dutch, and Dutch helps Kevin when needed, too. <clears throat> so they've made an arrangement. You know, they're going to yeah, learn it sure. together, and Kevin Hope helps him, other. and he's going to allow us to use it when needed. So. Right. And he's just right down the road now, so it's going to yeah. work out awesome. Al Creek Homestead's in here. What do you know, Cody? Hey. Hi. Gwen says, happy Thanksgiving and happy birthday, Rachel. Good night. Oh, to good night, all. Gwen. Gwen, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Jennifer Aiken, good night, Gwen. Um, all right, so we got a minute. Anything you want to say before we get off here? Yes. First Dave, table <laughs> order right here. <laughs> Dave says, did you take shop classes practice. in high school? You have so nope. many skills. Nothing like that. Nope. <laughs> I Learn lost from my, my tooth. mistakes. I lost my tooth today. Oh, yeah. Does yeah. Tooth Fairy come when it's a holiday? 
I don't know. Hmm. I guess, we'll, I guess we'll, we'll see, huh? We'll see. Desert Dog, have a great day. Hey, Desert Dog, I haven't seen you hey, in forever. Hey, thank bud. you. I was just asking Kevin about yep. you the other day. I said, I haven't seen him on our comments in a while. I hope he's okay. He sends me an email every now and then. Yeah. It's good so to see you guys in here. For those of you, I mean, like Kevin was saying earlier, you guys are our, we consider you guys our friends and kind of yeah. like our family. Pretty much. Yeah, Might as well be family because they... They're in our lives every yes. day. We post a video. I mean, even and if the comments, even if we don't reply to comments, we read all of them. Yeah. Yep, for so sure. we don't always have the time to reply, but we read every single one of them. And like, if I don't see somebody for a while, I kind of start to worry. I'm <laughs> like, you never know. You know, especially right now, it's like I hope everything is well with them. Which tooth did you lose, anyways? This one. You just lost one like yep. two weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, it was less than two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah it was two like months ago. ago. She loves pulling her teeth. That's like her thing. Doesn't Mrs. Mouse like pulling teeth? Yes. Yeah. Yep. And Miss Johnson? Yeah, because Caleb says, I'm going to go to school. I'm going to see if Miss Johnson or Mrs. Mouse will pull my tooth. <laughs> Barb says, does that mean we're invited tomorrow? I think we got to keep it under 10 people. <laughs> Wait, what? We're inviting people? No, we're not The inviting CDC people. requires gatherings of 10 people or less. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're going to get off here. We got to get dinner cooked and then prepping for dinner tomorrow. So thank you guys yes, so much for stopping you. in. Thank you to all the ones that sent us Super Chats and everyone that's left comments. And uh, Yes, and thank you for everything. your continued support. I cannot yep. stress that enough. Um, you guys know I that, that things it. have uh, been a little hairy. So we just appreciate all of your kind words and, and continued support for us. Our family appreciates that. Our kids actually read a lot of the comments that you guys leave. So thank you guys so much for keeping those kind and nice, especially for, for children that read those. Right, mm -hmm. Sissy? Yep. Yep. And a lot of it gets blocked. We are there. so grateful <laughs> and thankful for, for you guys as our yep. YouTube family. Happy so we cannot stress that enough. We want to wish all you guys a happy Thanksgiving yes. and just everybody re remember your blessings and there's so much to be thankful for. Yep. So, and we are thankful for you guys and all of our loved ones, aren't we, Sissy? Yep. Yeah. So thank you guys so much. Yeah. I hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving. Stay safe. And until next time, we'll see you later. See ya. Bye. Bye. Thank you.